say goodbye to Jets coach Rex Ryan and general manager John Idzik, both fired today after a 4-12 and season from the New York Jets and missing the playoffs yet again. Meanwhile, Tom Coughlin of the Giants has reportedly been told he will not be fired as head coach, this despite the team missing the playoffs for the second straight season and coming in third in the NFC East. First question about the Jets. It was the worst-kept secret in football that Ryan and Idzik were going to be fired. They were out of it in October. Why not make the change in the middle of the season? You as opposed to that. waiting you, to the you, end. You uh, never, yeah. ever make a change in football in the middle of the season. It, it never happens. That, that's a real catastrophe. I, you know, I can't you make never up my mind that. as to whether they should have fired him. Sometimes, you know, Ryan. <laughs> Are you he, kidding the me? The players never quit f for him. He knows, his, he knows the systems. What is the new coach going to bring that he lacked? Nothing. Are you agree with me there? Yeah, uh, but don't you have to make a winning record. At some point, at some point uh, don't you have to make a change, winning record. To change when? direction? In his first two years. Yeah, and then four years went by and he uh, hasn't had one since okay, then. Okay, but this guy... Th took this idea that people don't quit. Remember, no, nobody ever quits because they're fighting for their next job. And if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if that's the basis, you should win did, some football did games. Did you see they the won Atlanta four Falcons games. play last night? They, their, their, coach got fired. their coach got fired. Well, the Jets didn't quit. You know, you can make a case either way. Is, you is, could. He needs a quarterback, and, and they, they ruined him. Look, that's when, when what he the had it, is. Rex has never had a quarterback when he was there. He had Sanchez, but Sanchez was very young at that point. Rex, I think, if he went to a team where he had a quarterback, he is a great defensive coach. He really is. Is, is Coughlin clearly getting a little bit more leash than, than Rex Ryan is? Is how much leash do you give somebody a bit because more leash. he has two Super Bowl wins? Right, but that's two, he's a Hall of Fame coach. That's, that's two more games in, in two twice. seasons that he won more than Rex Ryan. Doesn't did. matter. Rex he, Ryan wins he, one. You, you, Tom, a, Tom Coughlin took the Jacksonville Jaguars, an expansion team, in year two to the to the AFC Championship game. I mean, he did it twice there. Tom I mean, he's Coughlin a Hall of Fame football coach. Stability. I'm not right. sure he's that great a coach, but he brings stability to an organization. There's a virtue in that. The phenomenal football coach. <laughs> Evan, you're a big job. No, look, that, but is he going to the Hall of Fame? Read not what I say, what other people say. He's a phenomenal football read coach. Read the polls. But couldn't you argue, based on the results, that that Coughlin deserves to be in a similar position? They, they had they had the second most cap space wasted on guys who went in, uh, on injured reserve this year. I mean, they, their team was decimated with injuries, and and they put in a new offensive system in this year. Next year, the Giants will be fantastic. Next year, the Giants will be mediocre, the Jets will be mediocre, and everybody will say that's a step in the right direction. If the Giants miss the playoffs next year, does Coughlin keep the job? Yes. Oh, he, 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 you you he, want he, to he, say for as long no, as... No, 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 no. What, what, what I want <laughs> to have happen... This is a devotional he, no, no, exercise, no, 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 he, no, but here's man. the honest answer to that. The real answer is that the Giants made a commitment to Ben McAdoo in the offense, okay? If you get rid of the head coach, the head coach is going to want to put his own offensive in. The, 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 the goal is now you have Coughlin for another year or two. McAdoo takes stick over with, and runs the team after politics. that. That's what he does. Stick with That's what he does. Your hobbies should be remain hobbies. Any, any thoughts on Jets and Giants? Can I just say one thing? <laughs> the Patriots, I know you're... Je Jeannie, just one thing before I forget. Today is my fifth wedding anniversary, and, and I am here happy doing this show. So I want to say happy anniversary to my Aww. lovely wife, Carol. Yay. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> thank, and thank you for being here. Happy anniversary. Please thank her for allowing you to be and here. And you thank should you. stay with her as long as Coughlin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Show over already? No, no, show no, no, we're, over. We're actually still technically on the air. So <laughs> oh, anybody else want to say a thank you or a <laughs> hello or a shout out to anybody? Yeah. All right, on that note, we'll, we'll say our goodbyes. Tom, Richard, Jeannie, Dominic, thank you very much. Happy New Pleasure. Year. Pleasure. Happy New Year to you too. Happy New Year to everybody. In fact, we've got a New Year special coming your, uh, your the, coming your way this week. Wednesday, it's our New Year's Eve special where we look back at the year of 2014. And coming up in uh, on Wednesday is our look ahead uh, to all the news that's coming up in 2015. We're going to take a quick new look at news in the Hudson Valley when we come back. Thanks.